ark. Salvation first. Ark. On the way to heaven. God bless you all this evening. satanic advice. I'm having a teaching, so I'm teaching you about satanic advice part two. Deception two. Deception two. Evelia. It's amazing how the devil advises us. And I'm advised, I'm talking about the advice of the devil or satanic advice. The power of the mind, I know. The power of the mind surpasses everything in this world. Satan, including his agents, do not have any power or dominion on we human beings. First Samuel chapter 16 verse 7. According to 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. According to the Bible, we humans look consider or look what is on the surface of the eyes. Bible they look at what's on their eyes. And God considers the heart. Upon all the power that the devil has, he has no power though to see what we have inside us. Now, the power of the mind is the will of a man. The power of the mind is the will. Is the will of a man. The power of your mind is the power of your will. If you have a firm decision that you will not do something, yes, there's no power that is going to control you to do that thing. That is why we have an adage that goes as you can force the horse to the riverside, but you cannot force it to drink from the well. And so there's no power that can control you to do what you do not want to do unless you give your mind to that spirit. There's no power that can force you to be an alcoholic or to be a womanizer unless you give or you buy in the idea. There's no power that can lead you to be a bad person or there's no power that can make you sin unless you buy in the idea. Bosomphobia ni wiase ba bi obetimi aku agisi obi de wo koma no so nku. 
there's no power that can kill you from the lesser gods unless someone takes you there to kill you and it was a bible say and come up bonnie essay or brapa that is why the bible says bad or evil communication um, destroys good, good manners, manners. And it's a you may tell me ye pa no who say Brun some ninim pass to me one bit. So I want you to listen very careful this evening and know that the devil has no power on us one bit. Satan it to me won in pebiaso. The devil has no power over anybody. Abo some sponsor na madeke jiu. Na obron sam so on ti me ye obi ada. And he can never have any power. Eh abo some ato wona de keo. In the book of Psalms, Bible say no onim pa ne hwan a wa ma na se abofo. According to the book of Psalms, the Bible tells us or makes us understand that we humans are we are more greater, powerful than angels. We humans are greater than the angels. Bible, God created us as his, in His own image and gave us all the power. And it is so on your coupon, new ha, or the nimpa ejina na name. And so, if, if there is no God, He placed we human in His presence. Eh, tana yiba mama lewa, ekwa amek betonde etepe. Na abron some person obedi nimpa sono ti ekwa ya ofa aswe. Just when the devil wanted to rule us, this is how he went about it. Eh, abos tamba be ya dufi ademi a jami pomo ekaji oto. Genesis chapter three verse six. According to Genesis chapter 3 verse 6 le mo se pa gban le ta e ton kufi ade bi o ye e ni se o ko tu eve e fo what he did was that he went to advise eve nu yi ke won ye be e ba hunun nu eve afutu o de man ni se hwe mu di a mo re nwu mu di a mo re se mo ni beti na mo be yet se o nyankopon no the advice he gave them was that when they ate the fruit, they were not going to die. Rather, they were going to be as wise as God. And in the Bible, it says, So the Bible says that after she heard the advice, she was excited, and so she went ahead to eat the fruit. My question, I be so on the or what do and not tear the abanoma Eve, and as on Eve Cassia, and the Eve and Cassate. My question this evening is Did the serpent pluck the fruits for Eve, or did he advise Eve so she could go and pluck the fruit? Fruits. The serpent did not pluck the fruit, uh, the fruit, Eve did. Evil, Eve into a bag bay. And in Tibo Mamma San Chamber and some of the food to so back. Okay, so let me continue to give you another satanic advice that he has. Second Samuel chapter 16. According to Second Samuel chapter 16. Let Samuel pack by the Tawi at there. So, what can kind in your own Amsterdam and Ahitophel? If you read the whole chapter, you find out about Amsterdam and Ahitophel. They even make a Tepumon Katamia Same of Uncle or your fifth year, Miss Uncle. A foot to all the man, no, no, so soon any jail. No, more The advice that he gave him, and he also listened and went ahead to do what he had to do. No, Let's consider Amon and Tama too. Na Amon, and your feelings. 
when your love towards Tama. Amon had these feelings towards Tama. Amon said, and the Tama. I'm not entering to an amount and yeah, now come on us here. But Amon didn't have the willpower to approach Tama. Kaka Amon said, "Me to zoda se seleme la meji, me to zoda jio." And then you know, and also King Kai, Second Samuel chapter thirteen, Kaini ni na obehu. That is also according to Second Samuel, uh, Samuel chapter thirteen. Read everything, and you will find out what happened. Samuel pak baleta, Samuel pak balevel ya ta wie tonko ye. Ne sa enti mame pesa wote asi e ne sa. Obron sama futu debia aye fepa. All that I want you to understand is that the advice of the devil or the satanic advice is a very nice one. Nuike medwe na nyabe labo sambe nukrome nya enya nuike enya popa. And into ni pebi a wasa si suno. Obron sami ni usu tumi ne mumu odi kamba wenche eno bakasa. So the truth is that the devil has no power over us at all. But what he does is that he comes closer, talk to you, and then you also make sure you do what he wants you to do. For example, for example, if you if you are staying with someone and then all of a sudden you have the idea that okay this person is not really going to help me, so why don't I travel somewhere else and find my own life? Do you realize that it's not a bad idea at all? So there's this lady who is assuming that since the husband was handsome, probably when he went to town, there were other girls he was going to she see. She was not assuming. The, the, thought, the thought came into her mind. And the Then what came next was that okay, she was going to look out for messages and test messages from the husband's phone and know what was going on. This went on till the lady realized later on that she had divorced out of this idea. If the devil advises you or if you happen to have a satanic advice, indeed, when it comes to real life, it's a very nice one. Don't forget you are listening to Messenger Morrison. All I want you to understand is that satanic advice is a beautiful one. drop an idea into your brain or thought. Or the sound you're very audible, say on your Every time that he drops a sound in your memory, all that he does is that he makes sure that is so audible than that of God. That is why sometimes we have messages dropped in our mind. What is the word that you have to do with 
That is why we have ideas drop in our mind. Ne le kwa su sude avata menao. Na no ana yenu ano tu nyu mise anka asa semi bisa sa abaya Yesu fe oh sa ajene no eba wutiri mo a ansa obetu so ana mo no anka so obi se Jesus se eba ye fa na once we have the thoughts, all that we should have done was to find out from God if that thought was going to be okay with God. But the sad thing is that when God speaks, we do not hear. But when Satan speaks, we hear it even faster. Because he's so closer to us on this earth. I want to repeat for you that when the uh, when you have satanic advice dropped in your mind, it is so beautiful. And when the devil speaks or when you have a satanic advice and you do not even pay attention to what he does is that he speaks through your friend. Anybody who is close to you. He makes sure he works through the next person who is very close to you. It could be your sister or your friend. It could be anybody, your pastor, your mom, your sibling, anybody at all. It could even be the very friend or sister you have in the church. Are you being paid for what you do for the church? What at all are they giving to you for all this suffering? It will be better if you found a better job doing than doing this in church. I want to advise you to find a better life because you will not find anything better following this person. Why don't you find a different person or a boyfriend aside your husband because this man is not really going to help you? Don't waste your time on one person such as with all this beauty that you have. Make sure you have others who also help you. I want to recommend this movie titled Kumasi Yonko for you. I want you to understand that satanic advice is very beautiful. And note that the devil's advice or satanic advice does not go upwards. It's always downwards with us.
He's always teaching us the things are, that are related to the flesh. Satanic ideas are your worldly things. Satanic advice always is that which teaches us the things of the world or worldly things and things that pertain to the flesh. Just after he's done with his advice, then you have to know that you're on your way to destruction. Now, these are some of the thoughts. You can, you have power enough to be your own pastor. So why do you, why don't you get your own church and start doing something? There are so many satanic advice that we have, but I want to end here and bring the part three of this very theme to you. WhatsApp or call Osumeni Morrison. Ewo 024-77-01364. WhatsApp or call Osumeni Morrison or Messenger Morrison on 024-770-1364. God bless you.